Do you need a vapor barrier under a concrete slab or should you have a vapor barrier under a concrete slab? For a lot of concrete slabs, the answer to this is gonna be yes, but it really depends on your application. What are you doing this concrete for? And I'll try to summarize it like this. If this is a situation where it's exposed to the elements entirely, let's talk about, this is just a pad that just sits there on the ground in the middle of my yard and I'm gonna put a patio chair on it and that's it. Should you put a vapor barrier under that? And I'm inclined to say no, because I don't wanna create a situation where we're trapping moisture, like rain and snow and other stuff's gonna get on top of this slab. It's melt, it's going to melt, it's going to absorb through, and if there's a vapor barrier, or especially if there's a double vapor barrier underneath of it, the moisture's gonna get trapped on top. And that could lead to longevity issues, staining issues, premature corrosion of your uh, steel within the concrete, a, cu a couple different things that worry me. So in that kind of situation, when I'm entirely outside and the, the top side of the slab is exposed to ambient air and moisture, then I typically would not use a vapor barrier, though I would be very careful to saturate the ground to SSD conditions before I poured my slab on top. So let's talk about a different situation where, in this case, it's not just a slab of concrete in the middle of your backyard, it's a foundation for your home. It's a slab, but this one's gonna have like a shed on it or something like that. In this situation, what I want to do is I want to stop the moisture from getting inside. This is just like your house. You'd have a vapor barrier on your house because you don't want that moisture getting inside. So it's the same thing. If I have a slab where one side of it is protected from the elements, it's inside a heated house or maybe even not heated, but presumably you want your shed to be dry and not just pouring water. So I would, I would use a vapor barrier in both of these situations to protect the slab from the ambient moisture from the surrounding ground traveling up through the substrate and absorbing through your concrete. It could blemish your interior surface finish. It could add too much moisture to the interior of your dwellings. There's a lot of different reasons why you'd want to use a vapor barrier or potentially even two vapor barriers to ensure that you have the slab both protected from movement of the ground and also protected from moisture from the ground traveling through your slab and causing imperfe imperfections. With so many different concrete applications, it's hard to say for certain whether you do or do not need a vapor barrier, but for most applications you do, it is recommended, and certainly anything where moisture would be a concern, definitely you need a vapor barrier. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe.